it's Adri. For my third video, I really wanted to film something a little bit different, a little bit fun, so I decided to go rocker chic for today. And I absolutely love it. It's full of fun purples, blacks, and just awesomeness. Seriously love, love, love this look. I think it's so much fun. It's so different than just like the norm. If you want to see this, stay tuned. Thank you for watching. Make sure that you comment, subscribe, and like my videos. And see you soon. This look is going to be a little bit backwards. Usually I do foundation first, but since this is going to be so messy and fall out all under our eyes, I'm going to start with my eyebrows first and then move on to my eyes, then foundation. Today I'm going to be using this Kat Von D True Romance palette for pretty much all eye makeup. It looks like this on the inside. There's blacks, grays, moves on to purples, and then a really, really pretty light pink color. So for my eyebrows, I'm going to go in and use this black eyeshadow color, and I'm going to put it onto my Sigma Flat Definer E15 brush. Off camera, I already primed my eyes, so we're going to go straight into our palette. The first color I'm going to use with this Sigma Tapered Blending Brush in E35 is going to be this Kat Von D um, lighter purple shade. That would be the <gasps> Lindsay Jane. So hard to read. Like they're like on the back and not on the front. Next, I'm going to take the darker purple color with the Sigma Blending E25 brush. This purple color that we're using is called Ace of Shades. Called Ace of Spades. And since we kind of applied the first purple color all over the top, we're going to concentrate this one a little bit more. Kind of right above our crease area. Now to the fun part. We're going to use this Urban Decay 24-7 eyeliner and we're going to literally put it all over the top of our eyelids. Just kind of the messiest eyeliner that you've ever applied. Now I'm going to go in with this black color from Kat Von D. I'm going to go over the black that I already have on top and just blend it even more. This black color is called Lucifer. How daunting. Now we're going to go over kind of what we already did with the purples and we're going to relayer it on top of this black. I'm going to start with a lighter purple again and go over. Okay, so I'm an idiot and I deleted what I just did on a camera. I took this short shader E20 brush, I dipped it in each one of the purples and then the black and I just underlined the whole part of my eyes like this. Then I took my Sigma shader lid E56 and I dabbed it in this pink color which is the Disco Dust and then I put it all in this outer corner of my eye and then I put it underneath my eyebrow. Maybelline Eye Studio in black is black and I'm going to gel line my eyes. Now I'm just going to curl my eyelashes. So usually I don't like using this mascara. It's the Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara. A lot of people love it and I do. I do too. I like it but um, only for my top lashes because I find for the bottom it falls out a lot onto my under eye area. But since this look is so messy anyways I don't think it makes a difference. So we're going to use it. One of the best things about this mascara is how thick it makes your lashes, which is definitely what I'm going for today. I'm going to pop these lashes on with the look because they are super thick, super crazy, and super fun, which is perfect for this. 
These are by Kara. They are 100% human hair. I got these from Shop Misa. I believe they're about a dollar an eyelash. A <clears throat> dollar per pair. Remember to wait 30 seconds for the glue to dry. I went ahead and I applied my eyelashes already. These are huge, big, and awesome. Check it out. Boom. <gasps> my eyelashes are already applied. I'm just going to go over the rim of the thing that holds the eyelashes together. The eyelash rim? I don't know. I'm going to go over my eyelashes with the L'Oreal Carbon Black Intense Liner. Since my eyes are complete, I kind of have a lot of fallout all over my face, so I'm just going to take my Sigma Giant Massive Large Powder Brush. It is an F20, and I'm just going to kind of sweep off all of that extra eyeshadow that had fallen onto my face. Just get it off. Get it off. <sighs> Moving on to foundation, I am going to just kind of start dabbing my foundation all over my face and then I'm going to take my Sigma Kabuki brush and blend it out. Okay, maybe y'all can help me out a little bit with this one, but I have been getting waxed and every time I get like my face waxed, I have been breaking out like crazy lately and I don't know what it is. Like, I used to never have this problem and now it's just like really, really bad. Like, I just like completely break out. <sighs> so if you know what's happening to me or why I'm breaking out or if you have this problem, please comment below and let me know what the heck is going on. Now I'm going to take my MAC blush. This is in the, in the shade Blush Baby. I always make the stupidest faces when I do this. I'm like, <laughs> okay, next I'm going to conceal under my under eyes a little bit to get rid of these bags that are underneath. I'm going to use my Sigma Concealer Brush in F75, and then I'm actually going to use foundation as concealer. This is the Tarte Amazonian Clay Full Coverage Foundation in Fair, in Fair Sand. Taking my Real Techniques Beauty Blender and I'm just going to blend this out, getting rid of any harsh lines. Now that that's done, we're going to go ahead and highlight. I'm going to use the Benefit High Beam Highlighter. Do this a little bit dramatic because this is Rucker Chic and I can't, so yeah. I'm just going to take my finger and kind of blend this out. You kind of want to do this a little bit quickly with this, what I found um, with this Benefit High Beam. I love the look of it. It gives you a really awesome glow, but it does kind of dry fast. So if you put dots and then you wait for it, they're going to noticeably be dots even when you try to blend it out. Now let's line our lips. I'm going to be using the MAC Deverish. Deverish? Dervish. Hmm. Dervish? Dervish? Dervish. I don't know. And I'm just going to line my lips with this. Now for a lip color, I'm going to use my Coastal Sense Lip Palette. This thing is awesome, especially if you are on a budget and you can't afford the MAC lipsticks because they're like $16 a piece or something. This thing, I would say, is around $20, and you get and you get all of these shades. Like, that's so many different shades. I'm going to go in and take this shade. I don't know what the names are because they don't have them listed, so, yeah. And now our look is complete. We're just going to set this look. I 
I'm just going to take out my hair and style it. 